India's biggest fighter jet deal of the decade is heating up. Two powerful offers are on the table, Russia's Su-57 stealth fighter and France's Rafale F-4 package, paired with Safran's new jet engine for Tejas. The decision will shape India's air power for decades. Let's break this down. Moscow has made a dramatic pitch to New Delhi. Not just 60 jets, but 126 Su-57 E stealth fighters, each priced at just $80 million, or about 670 crore rupees. That fits neatly into India's multi-role fighter aircraft, MRFA budget, while delivering more squadrons than the French side can even offer. The sweetener goes beyond price. Russia has promised, full source codes, 70-80% localization in India, integration of indigenous weapons like Astra and Rudram, production at HAL Nashik, and even export rights for India. On paper, the Su-57 brings cutting-edge specifications, fifth-generation stealth design, internal weapons bay, super maneuverability, combat radius of 3,500 km, top speed Mach 2, and payload capacity of 10 tons. At Aero India 2025, Russia showcased the fighter with great fanfare, cheaper than Rafale F-4, more advanced on paper, and projected as India's frontline air dominance fighter. But the gaps are real. Its radar cross-section of 0.1 to 1 square meters is still much higher than America's F-35 stealth jets. Its AL-41 F-1S engines give strong thrust but are still not fully mature. And of course, sanctions on Russia create delays in spares and supplies. Still, Russia remains a trustworthy and reliable partner for India. Moscow is offering near-absolute transfer of technology, something no Western nation is willing to give. If India acquires this technology, it could even improve upon it and strengthen its domestic defense industry. For India, the Su-57 could prove to be a game-changer, but it remains to be seen whether it can demonstrate its full might, as it has not yet been extensively tested in real battlefield scenarios. Paris, meanwhile, has countered with a dual proposal. First, Rafale F-4 jets for the MRFA deal. Second, Safran's M88-4 jet engine for Tejas MK2. The Rafale F-4 comes through a government-to-government -government deal. 114 aircraft, unit price $120 million, or 1,000 crore rupees, and 60% localization. But upgrades will be charged additionally. India already operates Rafale F-3R jets, inducted since 2016. The Indian Navy has signed for 26 Rafale M jets. And Operation Sindur in 2025 showed their effectiveness in combat. The F-4 variant brings sharper sensors, stealth improvements and advanced data fusion. Its specs remain solid, SR radar, Meteor missiles, 3,700 km range, Mach 1.8 speed, and 9.5 tons payload. But the surprise comes from Safran. Their new M88-4 engine is being pitched as an alternative to General Electric's F414 engines for Tejas MK2. With 95 to 105 kN thrust, it can be integrated with fewer design changes. Safran is also offering help in developing a 120 kN engine for India's future AMCA stealth fighter. This could reduce India's dependence on American suppliers and open new export opportunities for India-made engines in Europe. However, the French package comes at a higher cost. Technology transfer will not be absolute. Development of M88-4 will take 2 to 3 years, and upgrades are not free. Still, France has an unbroken record of credibility with India, never defaulting on contracts. So, which jet package really fits India's sky wall? On one hand, the Su-57E brings numbers, raw specifications and promises of autonomy, with full technology transfer. If realized, this deal could be a game-changer, giving India a fifth-generation fighter platform to build upon and improve indigenously. But the aircraft has not yet proven its full potential in battle, and Russia's strained economy raises questions on timelines and reliability. On the other hand, Rafale F-4 and Safran's M88-4 offer stability and credibility. India already flies Rafale jets. The Tejas MK2 engine program could gain a European backup, reducing over-dependence on American engines. 
Long term, the Rafale ecosystem offers India global export markets and consistent performance. Both packages have merits. Russia offers technology and scale, while France brings proven capability and reliability. Ultimately, the decision will rest with the Defense Ministry, balancing cost, timelines, strategic autonomy and one long-term goal, Atmanir Bharata, self-reliance in defense. Stay tuned for more updates on India's defense breakthroughs. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates on global geopolitics.